This is SB Presents and Street Smart Saws. What's up, people? With another Gritty Tycoon Media. All right, now that's all out the way. You know, all that happy-go-lucky shit. Yo, man, it's been getting hectic out there lately, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe what's going on around this motherfucking town, around the city. This is countrywide. This is not just a citywide problem. This is not just a problem to say, oh, it's time to yell, scream, and riot and loot. This is not that time. This is the time that we're, we're actually... peaceful protests. That's right, because y'all injustice is... It got to be... It got to, it got to, get, it got to get just. Justified. Unju injustice is what we... Look, let's, I don't know what the fuck he talking about. Let, let's get some shit straight. I'm too hood. <laughs> Y'all seen that head drop. You hear that shit? Nobody want to hear that peaceful shit. We didn't try that peaceful shit. Well, what, 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 this, this is my problem. This is the problem. So we what, tried the peaceful shit. Let's explain something to people. Let, let, let's take ourselves back in history. So no peaceful protest. I'm not saying don't have a peaceful pro protest. What I'm saying is have an aggressive protest. Oh, yeah. It's a difference between peaceful and aggressive. Oh, yeah. it's, it's stop being peaceful. Stop, oh my, kumbaya. Please don't hit me in the head with a brick. Oh, don't see the tail can't stop that shit. Oh, yeah. It's nigga run up and gonna beat the fuck out you. Because you too busy wearing that blue uniform and thinking you're justified for the crime that you commit. You've been doing it. We can say from, from let, let's start from my era. We're gonna start from the Rodney King because I can't speak on the Martin Luther King's they was the peaceful era. See, that's what I'm saying. We can't do that no more. You seen what happened to Martin and them. Yeah, right. Motherfuckers was getting their head busted, up. split, and they was fighting just for a nigga to ride the bus. They pulled they pulled homeboy out of the truck. You know what I mean? I mean that was that was real live, you know, that was real live action out there. They was just the people got upset, people wanted justice, and you know, they tried to, you know. And this is the problem. Today, yeah. remember Rodney King, y'all? Watch the man on TV in a Honda. Nigga wasn't going no more than two miles an hour in that little G.O. And got his ass whooped, videotaped, and all four cops, white boys, those y'all tell us to call, call us, where's your friend, was whooping his ass on the expressway, not on the side in the hood. They had that man on the expressway yeah, while cars yeah. flying by them. Yeah. And he's trying to lay down and not get fucking hit by a car, but he started getting hit in the head. We yeah. cracked jokes about it. We Ooh. thought it was funny because he got paid. All oh, he, he, ha, ha, goofy, goofy. Yeah. Thought yes, it was going to change then, but it ain't changed then since then. It day. ain't changed. It's kept on going, escalating, fool. And then now people catch it on film and everything, and they, these people still don't get charged for it. It, 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 it comes crazy. down to this. We the joke police. about the Blue Shield. We joke about Blue Shield. We joke. Let's keep it 100. We say there's a blue shield out there amongst those officers. They have a blue shield brotherhood. Mm -hmm. They hold each other down. And just to show you how much they hold each other down, there's been incidents where there's ex-police officers, officers off the clock, just like the guys that was off the clock here in, 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 on, on, in Hampton, on uh, Cherry, that shot them boys at the stove. Yeah, he was. Remember that shit? Yeah, he was. Dude from Williamsburg, somewhere else. You a cop yeah. from a whole different district. Up here fucking with somebody that ain't got nothing to do with your yeah, business. Nothing to do with Chasing your business. people, and you think they ain't scared? They're, they're petrified. Oh, they got guns. Motherfucker, you got on a vest. So that means in my head, you come for war. You didn't come for peace. Right. And that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's the whole, the whole story. You know what I'm saying? You taking your own agenda and then executing it because you got a badge. That's that's not right. Then you kill people. That's the whole you killing people. That's that's like psychopathic, right? That's like some old yeah, meditated yeah. murder shit, right? You know, it, it goes back and, and it's funny because I can think in my head right now of an ice cube line from the song Fuck the Police. Remember that song, ladies and gentlemen? Fuck Remember that fuck the police and this is 89, 90. Remember, back then, this was before Rodney King got his ass whooped. Yeah. N.W.A. say, fuck the police. And they had a reason. There was a reason behind it. All that truth and everything was the truth. Back then, it was the truth. Before it was the truth. The people had just been lynching people. Or some old vigilante shit. And, and they called it justified. Yeah. Now, I'm going to shout out to New Yorkers. Because New Yorkers know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How cops beat y'all down, take y'all, and drop y'all off in a bandos, kill y'all. The cats in L.A. 
Come on, man. Compton Watts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. South Central. Y'all know that. Y'all yeah. know those cops is out there doing that and we getting it on film and they still not. And this is the problem. Even, even though we have video, y'all always give us this excuse. Well, we don't know what happened. Well, from the look of this video, since y'all say it, you got to have some type of st uh, 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 evidence. Evidence, yeah. Uh, some substance of evidence to prove that there was even a crime committed. Y'all have that evidence. Mm -hmm. Y'all have that evidence. Yep. In, 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 in all type of, you got it from all angles, especially on George Floyd. They got it at all angles. The front, the back. From the time he got out, from the from time about, he grabbed him. First of all, off. from the time y'all pulled him over, remember, we even got the video of y'all whooping his ass in his car before y'all drug him out the car. All see, the th th this is the problem. Y'all did stuff, and then when y'all see regular people with their phones, y'all want to act like, oh, I'm innocent. You really, this is the thing about that video right there. This is what pisses me off, and it pisses me off to, the, to, to a high level of, I have to disrespect police. Now, I'm not saying there's not good cops. There's not saying there's cops out there that, that, that has family orientated and no certain shit. Yeah. But this is going out definitely. Definitely. I don't give a fuck how nobody feel about it. This is going out to you bitch-made cops. You motherfuckers who think that badge means something. You Listen, you a civil servant, bruh. You know what that means? That means you can't really arrest nobody unless we, we, as the people, say that's correct. That the, exactly. He committed that crime on me. To me or on me. Or and then you got to have abundance of evidence. Because a lot of people don't know this. You know, officers try to grab you and they tell you you're under arrest and they don't want to tell you what the charge is. A lot of times when we resist because we want to know something, that's their job as a civil servant. Before they even put a handcuff on you because they already are protected. They're protected with their badges. They're protected with those vests they're wearing. They're protected with those guns they have on their hip. Now here, I have no gun. If you tell me, just like that, what was that, 60-year-old, 80-year-old woman they shot? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? An officer shot an 80-year-old fucking old ass. What this old lady going to do? Pull out an SKSI shoot? Granny going to get this. Granny can barely fucking stand. Granny going to motherfucking let her But you it. shot this, this, this woman, and y'all swept it under the rug. See, I'm mentioning these things because a lot of times we forget. Yeah, we forget the focus because we're so angry at the time. About the thing that's going on at the absolute time. Right. And a lot of people are saying, well, y'all mad about this one incident. No, I'm giving you incidents. Oh this God. is the purpose of me giving you these incidents. It's because officers like um, uh, the, the, the white chick. I don't even want to mention the bitch name. Because you went in somebody else's house that smelled like marijuana. And you said you thought it was your house. First of all, bitch, you a cop. Why the fuck is your house smelling like weed? Number two, once you walk in your house... If your house smells like weed and you notice a motherfucker in there that ain't yours, two things, anybody that walk in their house, the first thing, my light switch, what's in the peripheral, peripheral view yes. that belongs to me. Yes. Your house had pictures of your family when you walk in. So you telling me that didn't, that didn't spark when you walked in? My family picture that ain't my color cup coffee table. Why is this color wall different from the wall that I normally walk into? Ain't you an officer of the law? Once you open that door, ain't you supposed to realize that I want your crib? Like, I mean, come on. You walk in the person crib, then you shot them. And they were sitting eating a bowl of ice cream. Yeah. A bowl of fucking... This is the retarded shit, and y'all wonder why black people sit there and get mad and cop a fucking attitude. Because then y'all want to say stupid shit to us, like, well, she's doing 10 years. It was 10 years? Bitch, you a law Man, officer. Nah. You, should be, you should be doing 10, 10 for your crime. Well, no. Nah, 10 for being stupid. And twenty for doing that. No, let, 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 let's get this crime. right. You should be doing a life sentence, lady. Life for doing now, let's crime. do thirty-five or better because of this reason here. You are a trained officer to notice your peripheral surroundings. You're trained to know what's in your peripheral right. so you can make notes, take down jots. You don't enter a a, a, a a home, not even your own, without doing your surround. Yeah. So you can't tell me, oh, I thought I was in the wrong house. You yellow right. privilege. Bitch, you. you lying. Let's go to the young lady who was just shot at her house, the the the, the uh, Emma Lamb's lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to her because this black woman works for you, with you guys. She's picking up bodies. She's helping the community and showing the community as us as black men and women with her being a strong black woman on her own, doing something positive. Not out here shaking her ass on Instagram. Oh, no, she's trying to save lives. 
Right. She's trying to put something back and something more inside of our community, mm -hmm. our knowledge, our help. But what you do? Oh, we kicked in the wrong door. We shot her. Ain't that a bitch? Seriously, if you I execute a warrant. Now, you're supposed to execute a warrant before you go in anybody's house. You're supposed to knock on the door. And it was an unknock warrant. A no knock warrant. I and that's it. bullshit, too. That's crazy. Because that's your excuse where well, it was an unknock warrant. Unlocked and when we warrant. saw her, we assumed she. How? You still. See, you're talking, the, they, you're they, talking they, crazy because as an officer, even though you're not supposed to fire unless you, you're getting fired upon. Not fire before they fire. If you get, if you get fired upon, that's when you fire back. You don't fire back before any shoots and sh shots get fired. That's not how it goes. That, that's not how life goes. That's not the proper way of doing shit. People, and you celebrities. Now, earlier today, y'all seen me on live. And the only reason I'm going to mention this because Jay-Z, no, soon as we finished our live, went out and got on his live and, and said he was doing everything possible. You know what I don't like? That's bullshit to me. Jay, your city, New York, has been under siege mm -hmm. for the last four days, bro. Yep. You couldn't mention Nas. Where your punk ass at, Mr. Knowledge of Education, to my people? Yeah, come on. Get your ass up, nigga. Come on. Let's stand up. LL, you did a, a, a fabulous rap. Fuck. But nigga, yeah. nobody want to hear your fucking lyrics. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Put your body in your mind in that stance that you preach on yeah. and stand in front lines. You motherfuckers get out there and you want to talk crazy. Bootsy badass. Oh, you was just on Instagram being gangster while you all. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You was all on Instagram. Now we don't hear your motherfucking voice. The way, way. Why your pussy basketball having half a child having ass? Where the fuck you at, you crackhead ass nigga? Stand your ass up. You NBA bitches. Motherfucker, I'm tired of paying $50 and you sorry ass niggas ain't gonna stand up because you're scared to lose your sorry ass job. Yes. Captain, I salute, salute a gentleman. I salute a gentleman. Yes. That nigga Captain lost his Nick. job and said, fuck you because he tired. Yes. And if you black yes. sorry ass motherfuckers, even in the 70s, the sorry ass niggas stood up. Yep. You sorry pussy yep. ass niggas. Damn right. Let me calm down. Nah, Let me no, calm down. No, no, no. It ain't your fault. It's there. They the ones that ain't doing shit. Let me calm down. They the Ooh. ones that ain't holding us, holding us down. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Give back to the community, man. I ain't Damn talking God. about make no goddamn boys and girls club. This ain't the boys and girls club, bitch. This is get your ass off your black ass. You the same bomb that they were smacking in the streets in the 90s. You the same bomb that they slamming talking about you a drug dealer. You the same bomb because you in the NBA, the NFL, the mm -hmm. major league, mm -hmm. playing hockey, mm -hmm. tennis. I don't give a fuck what you do. If you are a fucking celebrity, get off your ass and stand on a line. No. This ain't the time to stand behind your celebrity and this and say, I don't want to lose mm -hmm. some. Whoopi, Oprah, Gail, get your bitch asses up. Stand the fuck up. You hoes can come at the niggas about some dumb shit, but you hoes can't stand up for a nigga when he died in these fucking streets. Whoopi, you had nothing to do with that. I'm sorry. I will apologize to Whoopi because Whoopi be getting on niggas' asses. Well, she I'm gonna need take to get her ass nice. She did. Whoopi been on her shit. Nice. Whoopi been standing on cheeks. Oh. Yeah, Whoopi get a pass. I gotta get that. I gotta say that to Whoopi. And I mean, Queen Latifah, your name say you the queen, my queen. I, mean, I ain't going to yell at you. I ain't going to scream at you. Can my female hip-hop artist stand up and say something? Yeah. Some of y'all are mothers. A lot of y'all, we need y'all right now. Yeah. We. This is a need. This is not a want. This is a need. And I know I sound crazy yelling and screaming and hooping and hollering, but I need y'all. Yeah. You don't understand. These cities, these streets, we listen to y'all music. Young NBA, I know you don't want to hear this, and I really don't listen to your music like that, bro. But youngie, you have a talent that has a young nation in your bracket under your spell. Speak. Because just two years ago, you can't say young boy never broke again. Wasn't getting his ass in trouble and police slamming the shit out of him. Slamming him. Come on, y'all. Yeah, it's time to stand for something. You ain't got no way, bro. So I know they were slamming you around like that. You got to stand for something. Then you get locked up for, for like a year, like six months or something. Yeah. yeah. What's the rapper that I forgot his name? This nigga went to the bank. Let me explain something. This man went to the bank, got his own money out. Now, when you take out a large sum of money out the bank, y'all, listen. The manager and the general manager of that bank has to be in there. You have to sign off for this. Mm -hmm. you, they have to sign off to say your account has been tampered with. Do you know these sorry motherfuckers that? And it was in Texas. I'm going to tell you where it was. It was in mm -hmm. Texas. Mm -hmm. It was at a Wells Fargo Bank. I'm going to tell you where it was. It was at a Wells. Y'all know who I'm talking about. We ain't going to. Just going to point out a few things. Mm -hmm. They called the police on this man. And they said this hip hop artist robbed the bank. Because he came in and got his own money because he wanted to go buy him an extra money. He paying cash. Mm -hmm. Woo. 
He had a duffel bag. Yeah, he, he came out the bank with a duffel bag, a real Gucci bag. And the police stopped asking what he was doing. He had to give up identification and damn near the passcode to all his information in the bank and told him, well, the manager did it. I'm legal. This is my shit. They were like, well, you took out too much money. Wow. You, as a black man who has money, took out too much money. Why? Wow. I'm about to buy me a big purchase. Yeah, but you're a black man. Understand what I'm saying? I do understand what you're and saying. And I, I, I'm a black man, and I did something that's unphantom to someone of his culture. Show up on because of the way he was. You know what I'm saying? And so I, I they could, didn't look at him and try to, you know. And I can prove to you like this, and I know this is going to sound crazy as hell, y'all. The, the the pink boy with all the tattoos, Kanaki Nikki Nine. That's right. The snitchy boy. The snitchy boy can right. snitch, get out of jail, and get on Instagram, come home with fur coats, get chased from where the feds put him at. And y'all put him in somewhere better than the fucking house he owned. And then tell the motherfucker, go to work. For the same shit a nigga would do in the same conspiracy setting. And the same conspiracy charges, under the same RICO laws and acts, that a lot of those brothers he sent to jail by doing that snitch shit went under the RICO law act, his pussy ass should have been under there. But see, because he ratted and gave them something, and his skin is pink, and he's not really from a hood area, a low-income community. He's from a better home of living. Mother, father, you know, they had a little change. He, he he didn't have to struggle like you or I. Six nine. Yeah, I don't. You know. Yeah, but these these are all crimes that you can tell that officers do different from black people. Black people, if if we attack that man right now, mm -hmm. whoever attacked that white boy, shoot at him, stab him, kill him, will go to jail. Every cop in the world will be looking for that one man. Mm -hmm. A cop shoots a nigga. He's he's rewarded. Nine times out of ten, he's rewarded. Mm -hmm. This is this, in the last. Well, I can actually say in the last four years. Yeah. In the last four years, it's only been one charge that actually did something. That's that woman, and she was supposed to do something. Oh, she's in jail. We're happy, but bitch only got ten years. Mm -hmm. But the nigga up the street who's not legally able to fire his arm but protecting himself, shoot a motherfucker. Yeah, he's he's doing years. thirty-five to life. He getting ten years. He getting ten plus twenty-five. Mother, yeah. He only 17. He 18. He 21. Oh, I was on the block. I was hanging out. And God damn it, that boy ran up on me and I shot him. Bow, bow. Oh, it looked like you a gang member to me. You're under arrest. Don't care about the situation or the story. As soon as he go to court, they don't look at what he's done. They look in at who he is and what complexion he is. For sure. Once they take his complexion, his nationality of who he is. Oh, I don't care what your crime is. I just tripled your time. And that's the proof in our law system. If we keep allowing these officers to get away with, with murder, it's just, it's, it's, it's unconstitutional, man. Unconstitutional. It's, it's uncivilized. It's unhumane. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. You know? You know, they took the word humanity out of the Constitution. They took the word humanity out of a lot of things and started using the word mankind. Let's understand the word humanity. That's the that's a throwback ancient word, even from over there in England. It means black, in other words, dark melatonin, human, those of color. Mm -hmm. They have to stop using that because they don't want to be humane. They don't want you to be a, a shining light. They prefer us at each other's throats and tearing down our own personal community. Killing each other instead of advancing, instead of you know growing as a community and getting bigger, and you know, yeah, to support each other. Because I'm gonna show y'all something. From the Rocky King days when they ride, remember they waited two days before after the rioting and everybody was trying to clean up the community. Like, okay, we didn't fuck it up. We gonna clean up. Then they decided to send in the National Guard. Smart. Today they sent the National Guards in early. Why? Because they didn't fuck up their own community. Mm. A lot of black people didn't even, and what makes it so bad, it's not even black people. And that's the problem. We got videos of, they're going to say non-confirmed, or they are say, uh, uh, what's the word? 
Uh, we won't confirm or deny that these are officers busting these windows, looting, and starting drama. As you watch this, you'll see there's not a lot of black people looting. When it first always started kicking off, just the other day, well, who was in front line? White folks. No, Born no, violence. No, 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 Philly, on Philly. They were White folks. Not and now, now, white folks, listen to me. Y'all just trying to support, consider yourself supporting. Y'all not really helping us. Y'all not standing for our cause for real, for real. You in our way. And this is what makes our problem worse when y'all try to stand there and say, I'm rooting for you guys. I love you. I love you. I'm going to stand next to you. I'm going to throw a bottle. Because as soon as this is all die down and you go back to your community of middle class and you make it 89000 a year and your moms and them have nice homes and a few businesses and you leave our slum lord, rat infested, roach having asses and you go back to living that life, we're going to be still stuck there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be still in those trenches fighting for these same rights we're begging for since the Martin Luther King days, Malcolm X. Even since the days of Harriet Tugman of Please Don't Beat Me. Since the days that we can recall our history has been those of, of, of want to be power has been putting their neck literally on those of dark skin, black people, and Latinos next especially. Those of any dark descent, we have had problems over our history. And, I, and I'm proud of y'all that fucked up you white folks neighborhoods. I am. I bullshit you not. I'm not going to sit here and try to play light. I'm trying to give you encouragement to say, oh, you're wrong. Because you're not. Mm -hmm. I get it. I'm, I'm tired of you kicking in my house. I'm for, I'm for against the police as far as what they do, what's their procedure and how they doing their thing. That's not correct. You know, that's just not what it is. And, and I just believe that, you know, change going to have to come behind that. What, what, what's going to have to change? Explain to me this. You keep saying what's going to have to change. What, what's going to have to change? The, 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 the okay. whole way their process, the way they do. Well, what they, does that mean? When they become a cop, their whole process. They what does that mean? Their down. process and break that. What's that? Because what, what you're telling me is uh, what I'm taking. How did you not train correctly? So Yo, that, that's number one. First of all, it's need, not even they're not they trained need, correctly. They need ongoing training. They don't just need training for just when they get. Because once they get out there, they got to still learn. How to adapt to the people that they're encountering. encountering. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen an all black hood cop on the floor? That's actually a hood cop. You've seen him. You've got them in your community. Those cops that's definitely hood that come through and say, hey man, cut that shit out, man. Huh. Right? You see them, right? Huh, now, let me explain something to y'all out there in this pink world who think justice is just and it's not. All you people that sitting out there that saying let bygones be bygones can't do that no more. Nope. This is what you need. If we're gonna if, you, if we're gonna do what you're saying, I need those that are hood cops, those that actually are hood cops, put them in the fucking hood. Quit sending them to suburbia life. Put them where they can make a change and a fucking difference. Mm -hmm. Cause sticking them in suburbia life and sticking those from suburbia life that already has the mentality of. Oh, I'm in a ghetto, I'm in the slums, I'm in the hood. They're beneath me. Mm -hmm. Won't verbally say it, but will physically show you and verbally and express then, how they think and feel about and you. And disrespect you, no matter how much how older you are or what, when they're accounting, they don't even know you. You're a stranger to them. And they still, you know, press the issue like you said, like they better than you. Or like they know more than you. Or they just, you know what I'm saying, they just young. You know what I'm saying? I hate young people that don't listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the time, they're young and just out of control. Out of control. And, and you know what? That's what they're fighting with right now. Guys in their 40s and 50s, we're not the ones really out there on the front line fighting, fighting. Right. It's, it's, my, it's my younger cats, and I praise them. Yeah. Because you in your 20s and 30s yeah. and your teenage years, and y'all going, hey, motherfucker, you, you, you for y'all. And, and that's my point. That's the point right there. My young, you was like, hey, man, well, we already had to stay in the house. We didn't miss graduations. And now y'all going to bump us off on the streets? Now, mind you, crime rate of murders has went down since the coronavirus, ladies and gentlemen, especially in the black community, since they want to promote and say shit, but they're not going to tell you this on your news channel and in your home state. You understand me? Your murder rate has went down. You know it has went down because you've been outside your own goddamn community. 
until they said it was open. That's when shooting started. Let's think logically, people. If shooting started and not know Lil Scoop and Booty and all them little niggas been outside for the last eight months and got them ain't really been in the house, but they on Instagram now. I'm Corona. I'm in house, but I'm gonna see you tonight at the club. I'm going up to Tom Tom crib. Give me some weed. I'm going to the store. Y'all know they was interacting. Okay, you knew they was outside. People knew these guys outside right now hanging out. Here's the problem. Once they said it was open. They tried to make it look like it was going to be a bigger problem when it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Officers, those pink people, those infiltrators, those anarchists are the ones throwing salt, gasoline, and bombs inside of situations to make it look like mm -hmm. we are crazy, deranged, savages. Mm -hmm. And don't think they ain't using these words. Some of them have used it on TV. Politicians have used it. Cops have used mm -hmm. it. They take us as black men and women. Because Breonna Taylor was a beautiful black woman. And I'm going to keep saying these names. is because you need to remember. It's not just about George, y'all. Breonna was right there. And Breonna happened before George. Let's remember that. So, people, we already, you just pulled one by kicking in this girl door. And just on the heels of her, four years prior to, y'all just kicked in, um, what was the boy's name? Behind, Belah? What's his name? I don't want to mispronounce his name. Um, but, but yeah, Bilal. you just kicked in his door and shot him. We were just just starting to go, okay, you know what? Just maybe they learned something from that. Mm -hmm. Then you do another kick though in and kill a woman this time. Right. A black woman. Someone I'm we, we no, nah. no, yeah, talking about no knock. And y'all know, I don't care what a black man if, say. Y'all know if, if y'all would have went through somebody's house, no knock. And they would have started firing back. Oh man, that would have been all over. They would have hung them. They would have shot. But shit, who? I don't know if that's an intruder or not. Y'all not niggas. It's a no knock room. Yeah, so you get, I mean, it didn't come, I mean, whatever it was, it sounds real. It's fishy. Yeah, fishy. It's like, it it sounds real convenient to say, oh, well, it was a it no was walk room. No walk room. Now, I thought y'all quit giving out no-knock warrants to unknown addresses. Yeah, especially for y'all's safety. Is, yeah, because that's that? even worse to have a no-knock. You would die quicker on a no-knock than a knock. And you telling me cops are actually going down and agreeing to that? No-knock? No yeah. Get their head torn? <coughs> but see, all up by... Shoot, we could have had anything. They could have had... Anything in that house. AR but you wind up going into a young woman's house that was an MT that worked to save lives. Mm -hmm. And you took her. You took uh, uh, Bartholomew. I think that's the boy's name. I want to say it right. Uh, I'm not trying. I think his name is Bartholomew. You took his life from eating ice cream. You see what I'm saying? You, you see the pattern here? Mm -hmm. Do you? Hmm? Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Okay. I, thank you. I'm sorry, sir. Bartholomew Jean. I, and I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name, young man. And rest in peace. I hope your soul do. Yeah, and I respect your brother to this day for the words he said. I might not agree with him, but I respect him because he honored you. And he had his he had your city honor you the way you wanted to be honored. They didn't ride for you. They marched. They didn't ride because your brother said that's not what you wanted. Mm -hmm. He wanted peaceful because they wanted that's what you wanted. I'm sorry today to tell you in the heavens and to the Father. We can't do that no more. Peace is not on the agenda because they're not coming with peace. Not. You're coming with mega force and you want somebody to respect your force. I can't respect that. I never could. I never will. Not when we can outnumber you with no problem. I mean, it's just crazy. Like, I don't understand the, the fight. Like, you're supposed to be trying to be better with relations, but you also not have... Like, really not corresponding with the crowd, interacting with the, the people that's mad and upset. So, you know, it's like, you, you guys got to go ahead, file these charges, get these guys arrested, get them locked up. You know what I'm saying? Look, let, let, I'm going to be honest about it. The one that's in jail, the guy that's in jail, the one officer that's in jail, the one officer. Now, we mentioned two different crimes that just happened in the last four months. Assaulting and beating people up, too. Yeah, and yeah. And then they get themselves... 
I'll put rest. in jail and locked up. I'll rest. Because they, they said with one officer that got a jack where he done had to sue his suit over four or five times. So, I mean, come on, man. He supposed to bed in the, in, the, in the big house, as they call it. But look, and once again, it becomes that honor guard blue flag. And not to be funny, remember the word paddy wagon? Yeah. Remember paddy wagon? If y'all remember paddy wagon, that was an insult to the Irish. Okay? Now they took paddy wagons all out of every city. Your city don't have a paddy wagon to this day. Then it turned it into a right van. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Because now it's black. It's not white. The ride, the, the, the paddy wagons, when they pull up, 